In the first two episodes of this mini-series, you saw 27 features making Shark one of the safest aircraft in its category. In this final episode, we will show you how Shark protects its crew in the unlikely case of an accident. Last time we talked about the active safety to, to, to avoid any problems with the aircraft. Now we will talk when already something happened. Let we reach the maximum safety for the passenger, for the crew. First, which I understand here is aircraft is composite. So composite have to protect the, the, the crew. For three decades, we've been producing composite forts for the leading general aviation manufacturers in the world. This experience means that the quality of composites is at its highest level, making you feel safe when flying with shark. My history and history in the company which was I uh, running here in the past, uh, it's, uh, it's really deep, deep know-how about the composite production because uh, we was producing a long time parts for Diamond Aircraft, for Katana, Super Dimona, DA-14 Twin in the, in the rate of for the DA-14 Twin uh, one aircraft per day. So he was uh, really massive production of the composite part for, for EASA certified aircrafts. And we, we at the time delivered about five, six tons of, of parts uh, every month. Material which we use that time in reality very similar we use as well today. Technology is, is the same, uh, the, the quality procedures uh, are the same. From the Formula One racing cars, we borrowed the concept of a cage that protects the crew in case of an accident. This part produced out of Kevlar is one of the most complex passive safety features we use in Shark. Shell of the cockpit is produced like separate part in really on really quite complex mold. Uh, you, you see it here uh, the separate separate compartment from the front pilot and, and rear uh, pilot or passenger. This, this uh, allow us to make the system of the ribs and, and bulkhead with, which uh, significantly improve the strength of the whole, whole cockpit area. Once this part is produced at our factory, it is inserted and glued with the carbon monocoque airframe of Shark. The primary structure is uh, all composite and uh, we use carbon fiber because it's uh, the one of the best material for engineers. In some points here are better material than the, than the carbon. Uh, you see internal shell of, of shark cockpit. It's yellow black and yellow carbon is typically black and yellow car color is aramid fiber. Uh, most people know it, uh, know the, the, the name the Kevlar, which is one, one of the trademark of the aramid fibers. And uh, aramid fiber it has a little, little uh, lower strength than the carbon, but it has uh, extraordinary impact absorption. So you, you will find the aramid fibers in, in the uh, ballistic protection, the vests and so on. 
carbon has, has very high strengths, but in the moment of the limit load, it, uh, it has brittle break, so it really breaks to the pieces, while aramid absorbs a lot of energy and, and it stays together, so, so in case of crash, uh, the, uh, the interior shell is uh, more stays, stays rigid, don't break in the part, and, and it's, it's more safety in the view that it is that this parts and this structure don't uh, hurt the, the passengers, uh, passenger and, and pilot. One of the main points for passive safety is parachute. Parachute for this category of aircraft is standard. I understand it as standard. All sharks which we delivered to us was equipped with parachute. Uh, we use uh, Stratos parachute uh, Magnum in the past it was 500 kilo, now 600 kilo. It's installed in the front of the aircraft because of the CG and, and, and these, these design points. We have two independent handles, one in the front, on the front seat, one on the rear seat, on even, even of the incapability of the pilot, so the so passenger can activate the parachute. Uh, we had one one saved aircraft and life with uh, on the shark with parachute uh, when passenger installed some some different type of propeller it, it broke in flight he had not uh, place for the outlanding was over the forest so he activated parachute and uh, he is flying and aircraft is again flying after repair so it worked very well with new aircraft, we deliver it equipped with, uh, with a knife, multi-tool, laser man, the best what we found on the market. And uh, we use it to, to, to have it at the handle to open the, open the motor cooling, but as well if, if we understand it like safety feature, in case of crash or something, here is, here is a knife close to the hand to to, to cut the belts, to, to, to open the, the glass. One of uh, uh, the nice features which we have on Shark is our uh, software for analyzing logs from the Dynon. I see it as well like the significant sa safety feature. I can show you, for instance, when Zara was flying around the world, even if she is on the opposite side of the globe, and we was able, when she sent us log, we was able to look and to analyze all data which uh, was uh, indicated by sensors in the aircraft. Here, here you see the flight in in uh, south america from uh, from somewhere is barranquilla to quibdo uh, here here you see the the airspeed and gps altitude and here i i show for instance temperature of the aircraft it's oil temperature and and uh, cylinder temperature as we we have as well sensor in the motor cooling so we, we can check the, the temperature inside the motor calling and all all what what is what is uh, indicated in Dynon and all is logged and we can analyze and really really check check and help uh, the pilot if he has any any problem. Altogether, 32 safety features that you have seen in this series make Shark Airplane one of the safest aircraft in its category. And we are very proud of it. As we can say, we are doing really maximum for our customers' safety. Feel free to contact us for more information about the aircraft or book a demo flight to experience one of the safest planes in its category firsthand. <laughs>